online. Joining us now is one of the two men who have cra helped craft the bipartisan plan, West Virginia Democratic Senator Joe Manchin. Senator, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me, Rick. I was struck by the title of your bill. It's called the Public Safety and Second Amendment Preservation Act. Though a lot of gun owners don't see it that way. They see rights any rights preservation act. Thank you. And they see any kind of expansion of background checks as an infringement upon their Second Amendment rights. What do you say to them? Rick, all I would say is please read the bill. We have nothing. This bill is a great bill, nothing to hide. They need to see it. People have been scared, using scare tactics. This Second Amendment Rights Protection Act is really what it is. These things in this, as a law-abiding gun owner, as an NRA member, these are things I've wanted for years. The other thing is, is I don't talk to any of my gun uh, enthusiasts, if you will, that does not believe that we shouldn't do a background check on finding if someone's a criminal or if they've been mentally adjudicated not to be able to buy a gun at a gun show or online. The current law is, Rick, if you go to a gun store now, you have to do a background check. If you go to a gun show, if you go to a dealer at a gun show, a, a licensed dealer, you still do it. We're just saying everybody will be treated the same. Senator, if you go one online, of the complaints, the same thing. and I'm sorry we to interrupt not infringe. you, one of the complaints from gun owners no, no, is no, no, that no. this this punishes law abiding citizens while doing nothing to prevent the horrors of Sandy Hook. What's your response to that? Let me just say first of all, this does not punish. It protects law abiding gun owners and that's all I'm saying is read it. Get on mansion.senate.gov. Read it for yourself. Don't let somebody scare you. Next of all, the Sandy Hook parents as you know came to see me. Yeah. I've talked to many of them. These people are the most courageous, bravest people I've ever met. They're not asking for anybody's rights to be taken away. They're not asking to ban any weapons. They're just saying, listen, I know the bill that we're working on expanding uh, background checks for criminals and mentally ill would not have prevented my child, would not prevent my child uh, from get, being massacred. It's awful. But they're saying maybe it would prevent someone who's mentally deranged somebody who's a criminal that shouldn't have a gun to protect somebody else's family. Senator, there was a I recent think poll. It's just the most there there was a recent sense. poll that and I want to try to get as much, many questions in in the short amount of time I have that showed that more than 50% of gun owners sure. feel like expanded background checks could lead to the government coming in and taking away people's legally obtained weapons. Uh, what about that concern? Is that legitimate the Again, concern that so many people have? It's absolutely, totally false, and anybody that's saying that is just basically scaring or lying to people. The law today, Rick, is, is you cannot do a registry. If you go to a gun dealer today, he has to keep a record, or she has to keep a record. If it's used for a registration, it's against the law. In our bill, we make it a felony and 15 years of imprisonment. We, if, you just, if people will just go to mansion.senate.gov and read for themselves, Pat Toomey and I would not be involved with this bill if it infringed on anybody's rights. Senator Manchin, what happens to this next? What do you think happens when, when this bill or when the House takes up think, this legislation? Is the president ever going to get something close to what you crafted with Senator Toomey uh, on his desk to sign? The president has been very clear. This is not his bill. It's not the bill he likes or would want. I understand that. This is the bill that me, as a law-abiding gun owner, Pat Toomey, this is a bill that uh, those of us who come from gun cultures, it makes sense. It basically doesn't change any of the laws we have. We expand at gun, at gun shows, all background checks. Online, all background checks. We do that now to some extent. That's all we're doing. We don't infringe on individuals. We're not asking to on, uh, infringe on any individual. We're protecting rights. We're protecting veterans' rights. Our veterans are not getting treated right. If you like veterans and you think they should be treated better, then you'll like this bill. If you're a law-abiding gun owner, you will love this bill if you look at what's in it. And if you want to protect and keep criminals and mentally insane people from having guns, you'll love this bill. Just please read it, and I'm hoping that we can get 60 votes in a bipartisan manner. We'll be watching uh, with great interest to see what happens. Senator Joe Manchin of uh, West Virginia, thanks very much we for need your, your time help, today, Rick. sir. Thank you.